everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today I've got a fun card project that is all built around a gift card. I love the idea of taking your gift card and letting those colors inform your project. The products I'm using today are from Pretty Pink Posh and they're all birthday themed, plus the cutest little gift card die you've ever seen. Or at least it's, it's in the top three. That card project is coming up next. Here's a look at the card project I'll be creating in today's video, and I think it's appropriate because it is to celebrate Pretty Pink Posh's birthday. So, birthday theme, yeah, I'm always thinking. But I've got a fun idea for a gift card, so let's take a look at the products. Here is the confetti stencil, and it is three stencils, right, layered together, and you can do whatever you like with them, of course, but I am going to also use this stamp set, Valentine's Circles and the Coordinating Dies for my image for the card. But here's the super fun piece. This is a gift card holder. One is scalloped and one is plain. Both are stitched and this is a really fun way to give someone a gift card. And this is the gift card that I'm sharing today, which is going to inform all of my color choices. Holly Fox is an amazing designer who creates cookie cutters that will blow your mind and I will link her below, of course, because she's amazing. And I just pulled these inks to match the logo on the card because I'm going to send an e-gift to a friend. And next, I can take my Tri-Blend Markers Spectrum Noir chart, and I will throw a link up in the corner if you don't have this chart and you're interested because it's a free download. I'm gonna use this to pick my colors for coloring. And here's what I narrowed it down to. I thought these all worked also with the colors on that little card. So use your gift card, right, to figure out what your color palettes are gonna be. It's a nice way to create this coordinated look. So just gonna grab my blender brushes here. I have little brush buddy clips so that I know which brush goes with what. And sometimes I'll just take my little stamp chamois and wipe it off. Sometimes I'll use a paper towel, but it's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna line up stencil number one and press. I have been stenciling a lot lately. In fact, I, I, I made the statement at one point in the last, well, I don't want to date this video. I just said it was the year of the stencil. How's that? I've been having fun with stencils. I think I am getting more comfortable with them. And a stencil like this, you can do anything with it, right? It's, it's so simple. You're just going to lay down one color of confetti, right? Blend it through. You don't have to be a skilled ink blender to do this. That's the other nice thing about a stencil is that it kind of just gives you this pattern and guide and you put your ink down and you lift up and you're like, hey, I just did that. Bringing in the second stencil and placing it in about the same place. And when I secure it with the tape, you'll see this confetti is in a different position. So I'm taking my next ink and I'll go ahead and blend all of that in as well. So easy, so breezy. Also, my nails look really good with this color. All right, taking that up, and now I'll come in with the third color. Now the third color is going to be a blue to pick up more of that blue. I'll get that positioned down, straightened out a little there, and go ahead and add this. And of course, I'll have all the supplies linked below if you're curious about the colors, but again, I like the idea of taking your gift card and look into the colors and using those. The other thing this does, it just creates some limits, right? That logo from Holly Fox is really smart. It's all on the cool side of the rainbow. That works, do you know what I mean? There's no guesswork. I decided to not go with that deeper blue and just stop there. I'm going to do the cupcake out of this set because I thought it was cute. She does cookies, but she also sells ingredients for royal icing and piping bags. And I thought, oh, a cupcake's good. And it's a good birthday, right? Cupcake is a classic birthday. I'm gonna rub my fingers over the stamp though, cause it's pretty new, haven't used it. And I just wanted to make sure I get all that coating off from, from the manufacturing process. Using my Misty tool, grabbing my, my Debbie. I call this the Debbie cause a woman named Debbie sent this to me as a gift. But this thing helps me to apply pressure onto my misty door and it doesn't hurt my wrists. So I wish they were for sale. I wish I could link those, but no, I have a one of a kind Debbie tool. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. The beauty of the misty lets you stamp exactly in the same position. 
Ah, oh, love that. And I'm going to stamp a second and a third because I wanted to have three to play with. And I'm going to grab my markers and begin. And here's what I knew from the outset. There's not going to be any heroic coloring or shading. I'm keeping this very simple, which is what I do with my coloring. And if you ever, you know, well, let's say this, if you're new, right? If you're not that experienced with alcohol markers, you know, you don't have to go all blendy and shady. You can just color, right? You don't have to be super fancy. I don't, I'm not always super fancy. I'm going to get a little fancy on the cupcake liners, but for the cupcakes themselves, I just kept it simple. One color. And these tri-blend markers are pretty new to me. I've been using them recently, and I'll, I'll link to another video that I did using these markers, but I think they're kind of cool. And the reason why is because there are three colors in one barrel, and they're all designed to work together. So if you do want to branch out and get a little shady and funky, you've got three colors in each marker. All right, coming in here with the blue frosting. And again, so simple. No shading, just blue. For the little sprinkles, I just took a darker version from each marker to color them in. Nothing fancy. I thought that would look good. And I'll do that on the other two cupcakes as well. Coming in here with the lighter ink. And then on the blue, we'll go with a darker shade from the same pen barrel. For the liners, I wasn't sure which color I was going to go with, so you know, you can always just sample it out, right? Swatch it out on the side and see what you think looks better. So I have two different markers, and I brought in a gray too, and I thought, no, no, that would be depressing. <laughs> I love warm gray, but we're going to go with the tan blend. So all I'm going to do on the liner is fill the whole thing in with the lighter color. And here's where I am going to get a little shady, but that's because a this is easy, right? This is a little easier. I'm going to take the darker color and just come up from the bottom. Just like that. Just add a little depth there and then pop out for the mid-tone, blend over that, and walk away. Well, I'm going to do the other three too, but that's pretty easy, right? That's a really good basic practice in shading. But now, I wanted to color the hearts, so I grabbed red, and then as soon as I put that down, I thought, you're introducing a color that's on the other side of the rainbow. That, that doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I mean, it just doesn't work. I like things to be relatively harmonious, and one way you can keep your color choices harmonious is to limit them. Limit them and keep them to one area of the rainbow, right? Here, we've got a blue into purple, and so I just figured, let's just keep the hearts in the same color family, and it looks, I think it looks great. I'll use the coordinating dies to cut these all out, and I'll run that through my Gemini Junior off camera. Cut one, and we'll do the rest. I also cut out some of the scalloped little circles for layering these together, because I thought this is a really cute, right, to layer that in. So I'll go ahead and adhere all of these two the scalloped layered circles. Now I wasn't sure if this was going to work to have all three. It started to feel kind of busy already. Like I thought, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But here's what I did. I took one and as soon as I placed the single one down, I grabbed a little panel die. Placed that over and I thought, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna make this panel smaller and you're going to use just one cupcake. The beautiful thing is now I have other cupcakes if I want to give more gift cards or just use them for another card project. So I'm going to score my card base. This is going to be a USA2 card, so it's five and a half inches wide by four and a quarter tall. Got some foam tape on the back and I'll just pop that onto the card base with that nice framing margin space. Mm, love it. I'll just take a little dot adhesive here and secure that guy onto the scallop circle. And then I just put some foam squares on the back of the scallop panel and boop, popping that down. Now that's sweet, it's so simple. But here's the fun part. I took a piece of lovely lavender, which is the same ink, one of the inks that I used in the blending. And die cut this piece out, let's get that guy out of there. 
and then just pop that down right inside the card and popped in the gift card. Isn't that cute? I just love it. So how fun is that to have this nice little bit of color harmony, right? I'm telling you, look at your gift cards and choose your colors. But I did think it was missing a little something something. So I decided to go ahead and stamp a greeting from another set. Just took the little happy birthday to you on, again, the lovely lavender cardstock, because we're all, we're all about color coordination here, right? You're going to have this on the front. You're going to have it inside. It's going to be a beautiful, visually connected experience. So stamping down the greeting, adding a little pressure, not too much, and then just sprinkling on some white powder, right? Got a little white powder on there, a little more for good measure. Tap that off. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to heat set this really quickly with my tool, get it nice and hot, and melt that powder. And then I'm going to cut this out using one of my sentiment label dies from Simon Says Stamp. Love these dies. I'll run that through my Gemini Junior, trim down the sides, and then I will have a beautiful little greeting to pop up right in the center. And I've got just a little bit of foam adhesive, the little foam squares on the back of Happy Birthday to You. Press that down, and that is the finished card project. So you see that little bit on the front, you open it up. Oh, so cute. So cute. I love it. So that is the finished card project. Color harmony is never not a fun thing. Again, colors and ah. All the supplies for this project are linked below the video. And also check out Holly Fox, I'll link her below as well if you wanna take your cookie game to an awesome level. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.